Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On my continuing Caden Live tutorial series, today I'm going to be going over effects. And specifically, three types of effects that I think would be very valuable, especially if you are doing videos here on YouTube. And so if you actually go to your effects tabs, there are a bunch of different categories. And underneath each one of these, there are a whole bunch of different effects, especially when you look at something like audio. And so I'm not going to be covering all of these today. I'm just going to be covering the three main ones. And then in future episodes, if there are other effects that I think would be very useful, I will make a video on those effects as well. So let's go ahead and start with the very first effect, and that is an audio effect. And if you go down here to audio correction, this will actually help you adjust your volume on your actual video clip or audio clip. So this is the gain effect. Simply pull it down here, and there it is. You could actually adjust the volume from zero to whatever percentage you want. Very easy to use, and this comes in really handy, especially if you have like issues with your audio. Maybe you recorded it too low or maybe too high, or maybe you're trying to get all your audio about the same volume. Very useful effect, and I use this pretty much all the time. So that's the very first effect. Now, the other two effects are gonna be video related. Now, if you're actually gonna be actually using any type of video effects, I highly recommend that you go here to your actual left tab and use the preview instead of high quality. So what that is, is your actual preview window, okay? So which is what's right here. And so if you actually have it on the default, which is high quality, it might actually slow down your performance. So your actual effects will like run frame per frame if you don't have a great computer. So I always recommend if you're actually working on your projects, use the preview. And then whenever you're done, go back to high quality and then you can render, okay? Otherwise, it won't be at the highest quality. So that's just a little tip right there. So let's go back to preview. And the very first video effects I wanna talk about are the various blur effects. So these blur effects are something that you've probably seen quite a bit on videos. So the first blur effect is just a general blur. You put this down here. And as you can see there, it looks fine. It doesn't look any different. But then as you increase the blur, you start seeing the blur effect take effect. And this is really helpful if maybe you want to transition and you want to blur out your video and you want to put text on top of it. I think that's what a lot of creators do. They'll use this blur effect so they could highlight something on the front. Okay, so that's very simple and easy to use. So the second blur effect is box blur. So you go down here. Now this one's a little bit more I would say powerful in terms of blur because it allows you to adjust different types of blur effects, okay? And here's the blur factor right here. So it's at five right now. So it's very similar to the general blur, but these are different because of the way they blur. So horizontal, you see there, I have it at 21. Let's go ahead and put this at 20. So it's left to right, very distinct look. So let's go ahead and go back to one. So now let's go ahead and choose vertical and we'll choose 20 again, and now the blur effect's up and down. So there are a lot of interesting things that you can do with this. You can increase the blur factor, and I think for creators, this might come in handy if you're trying to maybe make a horror video or something, you know, those blur effects, or uh, just some weird stuff, you know, maybe like you're doing some type of sci-fi video or something, and you wanna use this blur. There's really so many things that you could do with this, but very similar to the original uh, blur effect, it's primarily for you to highlight something else, okay? And so in this case, it really is only limited by your imagination. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. So that is the two main blur effects. And then the final blur effect, which I find extremely useful is obscure. So let me show you what that is. So there's this little box and whatever you put it over, it kind of does this pixely thing, which is awesome. Now, a lot of people will use this uh, especially if they're trying to do a tutorial and they have personal information or maybe there's things that they don't want people to see or maybe there's might even be some things that you don't want people to see like you know people not wearing their clothes or something okay so the blur effects really awesome you can increase it as well 
And what I really like about this blur effect is how e easy it is to use. Before, whenever you had to do this blur effect, it was really a pain in the butt. You know, you had to use keyframes and match everything. So this is so much easier to use and I highly recommend using this blurry effect or this obscure blurry effect for things that you just don't want people to see. Okay, so the next video effect is something that is so common here on YouTube and that effect is zoom. Now zoom is actually called position in zoom. It's under crop and transform. And if for some reason you forget which category it's under, you could always use the search bar up here and then just type in the effect and it'll find it. Okay, so that's just a little tip. So let's go ahead and use another video to actually show this actual zoom effect, which you'll be very familiar with once you see. We'll delete this one. I'm going to add this clip right here. So let's just use this clip, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring in the position and zoom effect. So we'll just drag this effect right here. And so the first thing you could actually do with the effect is you could actually adjust the video right at the beginning. So right here, here's a center point, move that around, and then you can also adjust the size. Okay, so let's just say it starts right there, and then the whole video is gonna have my crazy looking zoomed in face, as you can see there. <laughs> so very simple, easy to understand here. But you could also adjust it back to its original size and move things around. And so there are these toggles down here, okay? And so the very first one is align left, Okay, another one is center horizontally, another one is align right, align top, and then center vertically, align bottom, and then here is adjust to original size. So this goes back to 100%, uh, but it's not quite there yet, but let's go ahead and play around with this some more. You could adjust and center in the frame, uh, you can use fit to width, and then you can use fit to height, but it's still not quite there. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to play around with this until you actually get it to where you want. See, I just went right here, at least for this one, align bottom, and it looks like the original video size, okay? And the original position. And uh, another easy way you can do that is just go X axis zero, Y axis zero, and then just whatever the original dimensions of your video are, and it'll go back that way. Or say, for example, you wanna completely reset everything, you just can't, you know, you just can't get it to go exactly where you want it to go. So you could also reset your effect. Just go here, reset effect, and it'll remove the effect. So that's how you do that. But now let's get into how this actual effect can be very powerful. So if, say for example, at the beginning of the video, you wanted to start it off really, really small, like right here, right? Let's just make it like super small box right there, right? And then you wanted to actually zoom in later right here, and you actually want it to be full size, okay? So what you could do is you could add a keyframe. So we'll add a keyframe right there, okay? So you could move back to the original keyframe and then go back to this keyframe, you see? It's easy to move. So let's just say on this keyframe, I want this back to its original size. So here, you would use this quick toggle, uh, quick toggle adjust to original size, and now you're gonna have to play around with it to actually get it to where you want it to go. And after a while, you kind of get used to it, or like I said, you could adjust these values right here it's super easy, you just use whatever method works for you. And now let's go back and go to the original keyframe and let's go ahead and test this out. Let's see how it looks like. So we just press play. See, very cool, very easy to use. And then, you know, you could go to the next level and just, uh, you know, do the thing that I think a lot of YouTubers do, just really get up close and personal. So I just deleted that keyframe. So I'm gonna go here and Oh, maybe just go right here, okay? So let's go ahead and make this super obnoxiously close to my face, which uh, I see a lot of YouTubers do, <laughs> to uh, sometimes really weird effects. <laughs> but let's go right there. Let's just make it crazy. And then also we'll add another keyframe here and we'll go back to its original size. And let's just play around with this until we get it to where we want it to go. All right. So let's go back to the original keyframe. So let's see how this looks like. Uh, right up to my nose. Boom. Okay, we're not gonna stop there. Get bigger, bigger. Uh-oh, and then it goes back. <laughs> so as you can see there, you could have a lot of fun with this position zoom effect. 
And another thing you could do, like say you're working on this, and I'm like, oh man, I'm all the way at this keyframe right here, I wanna go back home. If you actually click on the main cursor in the middle, uh, you just get closer, should actually go back. See, it goes back to home. So you kinda have to play around with that, but I've just noticed if you actually click on the various points, you could actually go to <laughs> different points of your actual keyframes. That's actually what that is, is keyframe points. So really fun to play with. And obviously you could remove this complete effect, just delete the effect and there it is. And so those are all the three main effects that I use, uh, starting first with the audio volume or gain, secondly with the various blurry effects, and then finally with position and zoom. Uh, so that is it for today's tutorial. If you had any thoughts on any of the effects that I talked about today, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my entire KDLI tutorial series, I will also leave my playlist in the description area as well. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com, and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.